You know, as soon as I told Brian I was pregnant, he started talking about buying a house. Well, it makes sense. You're going to need some place to put the bassinet. <laughs> what do you think of the name William? That's very nice. You steal it from Chuck and Di. Honey, if it's good enough for a prince, it's good enough for my kid. If it's a girl, you should call it Elizabeth. That's good enough for a queen. Oh, Holly, I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled for you. Oh, you should have seen Brian's eyes when I told him. Well, it's not every day a man is told he's about to be a father. Yeah, and I'm going to be a mother. Oh, boy, you're going to be a very good mother. But it's a huge responsibility. There must be some sort of uh, training course that uh, prospective parents can take. Oh, yeah. There's a good one. It's called experience. And it's the best teacher because you learn on the job. <laughs> You're right. You know, nervous as I am, I know it'll be wonderful, though. I mean, at least now I have a bona fide reason to go shopping for a darling maternity clothes, and Brian can't say a thing about it. You'll do anything for a shopping spree. <laughs> yes. He's walking on air, though. He's even taken me to a new restaurant tonight. Oh, which one's that? I don't know. It's some sort of um, nouvelle Japanese or something. Ah, oh, sounds intriguing. That, that reminds me. Must remember to call Robert to find out what he wants to do tonight. I'll bet I know. One pregnancy at a time. <laughs> Got a minute, Commissioner? Oh, good. You're here too, Bert. Hi. Oh, gee. Uh, they're your buddies. I thought I told you. Arnie here has been working overtime trying to round up what we call the infamous trout ring. Looks like you caught your men. Or should I say fish? <coughs> oh, cute. Sorry. Uh, these aren't your begotten goods, I trust. Oh, Ned, perfectly legal. Yeah, well, I hope then that you bought these in a the supermarket because the fishing season doesn't open for another ten days. Exactly aren't? what we told the poacher we caught with them. Seems a shame to waste these. Well, it certainly does. There is nothing better than fresh trout covered with a little butter and lemon right off the grill. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt this gourmet's delight here, but is there any real reason why you were stinking at my office with these things? Just thought one of you might want one, that's oh, all. Oh, sure, I would. Uh, of course, don't think this is going to influence me for the next uh, review time. Of course not. Commissioner? Uh, no, no, thanks. Hey, come on, Rob. Do you mean you're not a fish lover? I love fish. I just shudder to think what Holly might do with it. Well, we'll give her my recipe. It's very simple. Bert, You'd... Bert, listen. We... Unless it's written on a menu, she just doesn't understand. Believe, take a word from the wise. Oh, come on now. You've got to be exaggerating. Uh... Scorpio. Scorpio here, too. How would you like to cook a nice, fresh trout for dinner, huh? Uh, no, thank you. I'd rather eat out. Uh... Why? Why do you ask? Uh, no particular reason. Do you have, uh, any, like, desire to eat out tonight? I'd love to. Now, what time are you getting off? Well, I'll see you later then, right? Hello there. Have either of you seen Sylvia? Uh, she just went off with Lorena. I think she'll be right back. Good, good. Well, uh, I'll wait then. Thank you. All ready for the opening? Oh, no, we've still got lots of things left to price. Oh. Yeah, but you wouldn't believe some of the beautiful things the wholesale is in town donated. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful. Mm, isn't it terrific? This is just like a needlepoint purse my mother used to have. I always loved it. Excuse me, is this ladies only? Oh. Celia, could I uh, see you for a moment? Well, sure, sure. Excuse me. After you. I wonder what that was all about. Isn't this a lovely purse? Mm, yes, it's lovely. You know, maybe we should put some things away for ourselves. No, none at all. <laughs> uh, next subject. Okay, how about Grant Putnam? What about him? Interesting man. I wouldn't know. You must know something, being a friend of Celia's. Well, we really don't talk about him. Well, he's awfully charming. I suppose so. You know, Celia really seems to like him. Well, they're, they're childhood friends. You know, I heard they were much more than that. Well, if they were, they certainly aren't anymore. I don't know. Did you see the way he looked at her? I mean, if I wasn't just standing there, I'd say that... Hello, Grant. Still at it, ladies, I see. Busy bees, that's what we are. As a matter of fact, I should take some of these things into the stock room. Huh? Excuse me. 
I thought you left the city. No, no, I was just walking her out to her car. She tells me that this boutique is working on behalf of the needy children here in Port Charles. That's right, yes, especially the waterfront children. Well, you should do quite well. You have some very nice things here. Thank you. <laughs> in particular, I noticed this, this purse here. It's really very beautiful. Uh, yes, yes, it is. How much is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's not available. Are you holding it for someone? No, it's just, it's not for sale yet. Not until we're officially open. And no exceptions made. Sorry. Holly, Pity. excuse me. Would you do me a favor? I just knocked over a card and the doctor asked me not to lift things. Oh, sure, I'll get it. Oh, thank you. Are you still here? It's almost 8 o'clock. I was just finishing. Oh, you are just like me. How's that? Can't leave until you're sure everything is in its place. Well, <laughs> if a few things aren't, I shan't worry about it. <laughs> Did you um, get a chance to take a look at the rest of the spa? Mm, I've been peeking around a bit. Well, don't leave me in suspense. Tell me you love it. I love it. I love it, really. <laughs> Guess what? So do I. <laughs> you should be very proud. You've done a terrific job. Oh, Holly, I just have a feeling this is going to be my favorite of all my spas. Well, it's certainly going to be the talk of Port Charles. It should be after tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Well, that's the day Miss Templeton's article on the spa comes out. Oh. Yeah, she... Uh, was very enthusiastic when she visited here yesterday. I'm looking forward to an equally enthusiastic write-up. Well, I gotta go. Good night. Good night. Oh, honey, it's, it's not, not your... I hate to interrupt. Uh, please do. This conversation is getting nowhere fast. Uh, I have a few errands to run in the morning, so I'll be in a little late. Fine. Don't worry, I'll take over. Could we uh, continue to this discussion at home? Mm-hmm. Good night, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Claudia, where's that purse? Uh, which one is that? You know, the needlepoint one that Senior was admiring. Oh, my gosh, I forgot to tell you before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, I sold it. I sold it to Grant Putnam. What? Yes, he gave us a wonderful $200 donation for the charity. Oh, how could you? Honey, I just said it was $200. Uh, yes, but we're not even open yet. I, I've been turning people down who want to buy the best things already, and I... All right, so I goofed, but it was for a good cause, right? Yes, okay, but from now on, rules are rules. I mean, uh, no exceptions, not even Grant Putnam, all right? Uh, do you have something against Grant Putnam or what? Sorry, I just, I'm just tired. You go ahead. Good night. Okay. Night. Oh, wait till I get you home. Ah, good, you ready? Let's say we have dinner at that uh, seafood place in the North End, huh? Fine. Mm, yeah, you know, I've had this craving for seafood ever since Ramsay went home with that cute-looking trout. Maybe I'll have bula base. Haven't had that for a while. Perhaps, perhaps a few dozen oysters, yeah. Well, what do you think? Uh, what about? Reruns of I Love Lucy. What's wrong? Oh, I was just thinking. About what? Doesn't matter, I just need a good meal, I think. Good, then let's start by getting out of here. Yes, good idea. Uh, nightcap? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, uh, where are you going? To bed. You're mad at me. Why'd you say that? <clears throat> Why would you want to go to bed without me? I'm not mad at you, Robert. Okay. All right. What is it, then? I mean... You were preoccupied when I picked you up, and you haven't said much all evening. You think I'm being silly? I love it when you're silly. Now, what is it? I'm really worried about Celia. What's happened? Nothing, I think. Well, at least not yet, anyway. Maybe we could be a little less cryptic. She's been seeing an awful lot of Grant Putnam lately. They are friends. Yes, but they used to be lovers. Are you insinuating that they're having an affair? I don't think so. It's just that she's been having such a hard time of it lately with her grunt. The, the real grunt just must remind her of happier, easier times. And he's really charming and debonair and smart. And, and loaded. Well, Celia is used to having money. I don't think she's going to be too pleased having to penny pinch for a while longer. Well, she's managed quite well to date. Yes, but 
Celia has a very low boredom threshold. And if he keeps persisting, I don't know if she's going to be able to resist him. I'm just wondering if you can resist me. I'm not taking this very seriously. I am taking this very seriously. Oh, no. The commissioner's shark fishing in Arizona. Great Ramsey, still at Port Charles. This had better be good. This is better. It is good. I might say it was excellent. It was perfect. What? Well, the trout. What else do you think I'm talking about? Are you I trying to it. tell me you peddled all the way over here to give me this piece of info? Well, thank you, Bert. I will now rest so much easier. Now, is that it? Ah, uh, yes, there is something else. I was hoping it was. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell us about the dessert? Yeah, I guess you would call it that. How about a few details? Okay. Short and sweet. Good. I was hoping there was a point to all of this. Uh-huh. There is. Let me show you something. When I was cleaning one of the fish, look what I found inside it. So? That's what I said at first. Then I took a closer look. Would you take a closer look and see what it says? Green and Son, Cornwall. Mm -hmm. It's a famous lock company in England. Right, so on a hunch, I looked up the county of Cornwall and just guess what little town is there. Rockmore. You're right. Robert, can you believe this? That's quite a coincidence. Yeah. Out of all the fishes in the world, we end up with this one. This has got to belong to Campbell. Mm -hmm.